Honestly, personal opinion, I quite struggle with it because this is not my style. So if I am going to put myself in, in a client's position, I do not think this is a bag for me. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Murphy and currently as I'm recording this video, I am a sales advisor here in Louis Vuitton, Singapore. Today, we are going to talk about the new monogram clutch in canvas. And uh, I posted it in my Instagram a few days ago and I have received a very good feedback about it. So I decided to review and say my personal opinion. With every review, I always start with the material. The material is a coated canvas. The coated canvas is actually, um, it's not very structured. It's actually uh, a little bit soft and um, it has this gathering on the top to have that dumpling shape. I, it's just my way of describing it. It looks like a dumpling and it has this hard square-ish support on top with uh, the metal on the corner that has been inspired by Louis Vuitton trunks. Most of the bags or the details of the bag is always inspired by the trunk. And um, the lock is an S lock, which is you, you see a small letter flap that is, I would say not the main closure of the, of the bag itself. The main closure is a magnetic, uh, a strong magnet on that uh, bar that you see on the top. I will show you later how to open it but for now this are the details. It comes with a handle and also it comes with a chain strap. There are two ways to wear it and I will show you also later how it looks like when it's worn. Now with a canvas you won't you don't need to maintain it much. First of all it's a dark color and um, it's scratch resistant and water resistant not waterproof water resistant um but then you have a lot of vv and leather in here as you can see the flap the handle and that bar support on top it's all in vv and leather and for most of people knew that vv and leather is you know it you can have water stains on it and it changes color over time and there's no way to prevent it for some people they do something about it but i wouldn't suggest and i wouldn't even mention it because it's not recommendable vv and leather is meant to season with you over time so um, if you are not into this kind of thing that's going to be a problem with this bag because there are a lot of vv and leather on this bag one thing i also want to mention is that the metal corners are also uh, one of the details that makes it beautiful but uh, i know that a lot of people will ask if will it get easily scratched it's a metal so it will so you have to be extra careful about it but the plus point of this is that this is brass gold compared to some of the corners of a trunk inspired bag this doesn't have a color coating on top so if ever that it will ever get scratched it won't be too obvious that you won't have that mark so like that white um, scratch mark on it because the surface has been um, damaged you will see scratches but um, it won't be too obvious because it is <clears throat> a gold brass color the lock mechanism is an s lock s lock is everywhere it is in our uh, multi push at and a lv till set that i have a review about last week and um this is how you close and open the the bag it is not the most convenient but it adds spice to the bag it gives it more Louis Vuitton vibe. So the thing that I was concerned about when I first uh, saw this bag is opening it because the magnet is quite strong between these two bars. There is a special technique on how you open it. You don't use your nail to, to you know, to open that part because it is a leather. There is a shap where you can pull it off and then you pull off together with the flap, the long, um, the long leather flap and that's how you open it space wise it is 
quite spacious. Uh, good news, your Emily wallet can fit inside, long wallet can fit. However, I would not recommend to fit a long wallet in it because it will occupy most of the space already. Small bags are meant for small wallets and uh, get your alternative wallet or a card holder if you want to use this bag. It is categorized as small bag. It is. I categorize it as a, as, a, as a small bag, not even medium because it's quite, it's really quite small. This is more of an occasional dressy bag. I wouldn't say that it's a casual bag because imagine you wearing shorts and t-shirt with it. I think it will be out of place, but on a casual day since you always wear dresses, maybe it might be a very good bag that you can match it with. But uh, I would say that this is more on a dressy bag. Now let's go with the accessories that comes with it. It doesn't come with a leather strap, unfortunately. It only comes with a chain strap. The chain strap is um, long enough for a cro for a shoulder strap. You can't use the chain strap for a crossbody bag. It's too short because this is a dressy bag. It's not really meant to crossbody, and it's quite technical because the strap or that that ring that you put on the chain is hidden inside so you have to take it out uh, for you to be able to hang your chain and this is how it is done you have to open the bag and uh, take out the those um, metal thing where you can hang the the chain and that's how you hang it there are two ways to wear it shoulder carry and handbag and this is my friend Poi uh, modeling for you uh, she is taller than me i think she's about five three or five four and uh, that is how it looks like on her i think since the strap is short and this is a small bag most of the height can actually just wear it and it's pretty safe that the the chain is not very short unless you know you're you're really really tall i think it might look Ah, just try it. It's always better to try the strap. You will not be able to gauge it by a person carrying it because, uh, you know, most people have different type of body, different shape. So if you want to make sure, go to the store and try it. So the price, the price is 4950 Singapore dollars. I would say that this is really a high price for a canvas bag. Canvas bag is ranging from 3250 and above. However, I believe that because of the structure of this bag, they mark up the prices for some reason. As I say, I am not the person who's making the bag, but I see a lot of details to this bag that's really difficult to, to, to make, to do. That is the only thing that makes me justify the price of this. Um, the design is pretty unique, so I think a lot, not most people would like this. So if you want an exclusive bag that, you know, you can wear and something unique for you, then I think you should go for it. Honestly, personal opinion, I quite struggle with it because this is not my style. So if I am going to put myself in, in a client's position, I do not think this is a bag for me. However, I know a few of my clients who loves vintage looking bag and this is something that they might want to consider. And uh, some of them has already tried it, so it looks good on them. But yeah, you have to have that certain style to be able to pull it off. Girly, fashionable, um, loves unique pieces, loves exclusivity, yes, this is for you not the most practical but roomy enough for your two phones and your wallet and maybe a compact powder and a lipstick so not the most practical of course you're not gonna wear it for day to day um honestly one thing the weight is quite heavier than the usual canvas bag because of that bar i think it's made of wood so um it's it's slightly heavier just light but not as heavy as the other bags I won't mention heavy bags, but yes. Um, at the end of the day, it's all about your style and it's all about how are you gonna use it and how often you're gonna use it. That's the most important. So if you like this style, just go for it. Um, 4,950, I know that's not very affordable. However, 
prices just always goes up so if you like this bag just buy it now before prices go up we don't know when but it will so it's also a good thing for you to save money if you're so sure that you already want it that's it for now and uh, i'm gonna say bye because i'm gonna cook dinner and uh, if you have any requests of what bag should i review first because i'm very very confused right now what to review next and uh, if you haven't followed my instagram and my tiktok here it is i upload the, the latest and the hottest collections in there before youtube so uh, please follow and i will see you on my next video Bye!